Some lawmakers are fighting for issues important to the LGBTQ community. Now that part is nothing new. Yeah, but the folks in charge of the group, well, that's a whole different story. KDK Harrisburg Bureau Chief Seth Kaplan picks up the story from there. You probably wouldn't be surprised to hear the Women's Health Caucus in the PA House of Representatives is co-chaired by two women. The Legislative Black Caucus has African-American leaders, but the LGBTQ Equality Caucus? Well, that was a different story until now. The Victory Institute Conference in Washington held this week. People working to get LGBTQ lawmakers elected. We caught up with one of them on his way there, State Representative Malcolm Kenyatta of Philadelphia. And I'm going to be moderating a panel with new uh, uh, state elected officials, including one from Allegheny County, Representative-elect Latasha Mays, who made history becoming the first open lesbian to ever serve in the Pennsylvania General Assembly. Kenyatta will soon become the first openly gay chair of the PA House LGBTQ Equality Caucus. The co-chair, Representative Jessica Benham of Pittsburgh. It's time for uh, fresh leadership. Said by the current leader, Representative Dan Frankel is not a member of the LGBTQ community, but formed the caucus back in 2010. Why not have someone from the LGBTQ community chair it? Simple. I did not have uh, members who uh, identified uh, as LGBTQ in our caucus at that time. We now have five openly LGBTQ members from Philadelphia, from the Philadelphia suburbs, um, also from, from Allegheny County. Kenyatta says Frankel and others have been great allies. So why the change? When you have uh, members of, uh, of the General Assembly who identify as LGBTQ uh, talking to other members, uh, it is really compelling. I told my coming out story on the on the House floor the first time um, I'd ever done that in a public forum. My mom stopped me at the door and she asked, Malcolm, are you gay? Somehow I found the strength to say yes. Kenyatta told me she wasn't happy, but then she came to accept it. Now, if you're wondering, all 65 members of the LGBTQ Equality Caucus are Democrats, although both Frankel and Kenyatta noted a number of Republicans did vote with them in favor of an anti-discrimination law, which nonetheless fell a few votes shy of passing.